Hello YouTube, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use Radiosity inside the Blender game engine. And to do to do this we're going to be using Blender's internal renderer to render out all the light scattering and all that kind of stuff onto a texture image so we can use it inside the game engine and create really nice looking effects when it comes to lighting. Now to do this all we're going to need to do is just create our scene and for this I'm just going to have a floor with just a few different objects that are going to be emitting the light. So this one, just bevel this. And there we go, so that's going to be one. And I'll just have three. Alright. So these are all going to be our emissive objects. Now, to get everything set up, we're going to pop into Blender Game for a second and click on GLSL in the render settings. So now when we press Alt Z, we get a nice little kind of render preview. So we're just going to go back to Blender Render and we're going to set up our MIT. So click on the object and oops, give it a new material. This one will be red, so just call it red. Give it a red diffuse. There we go. And put emit up to something like 3, because we want this one to be nice and bright. And that's it for this one. Just turn off specular. If you go ahead and click render, go ahead and click render, you can see we don't get any radiosity or anything like that. To enable radiosity, we have to go to the world options and enable light indirect lighting. And we have to go down to approximate and we'll put the samples up nice and high, but I don't know, I'm just going to keep it down at 12. So now when we render out, you can see we're getting that kind of radiosity effect. I want that a bit brighter, so I'm just going to go with my shading, put it up to like 8, see how that looks. Just click render. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So now we're just going to go over here, make this one green. Actually, I'm happy with that color. Put it up to like 1.32. Don't know why that one's the same color. Call this one uh, orange. And we're going to do our diffuse and make it orange. There we go. And put the emit up to three. So now when we render, we get this kind of nice looking glowing effect. Now we're going to bake all that nice lookingness onto our floor. One sec. There we go. Alright. So we're going to give our floor a new material. Call it floor. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, give it a new texture. Call this emit. Make it an image or movie. Create a new image. Call it emit and click OK. Now pop over to UV editing. We made it. Now select your plane, press tab, U unwrap. And that's going to send the UV coordinates over here. And then while in edit mode we're going to select our emit texture that we created previously. Go back to default. Click over here to our render settings. Go down to bake and select full bake. So now it's going to bake our texture. Actually, whoops, not full render. That way I think it renders all the shadows. Uh, yeah, I made the mistake of doing full render. Okay, go back and just select emission. And deselect emit. That way you won't get any loop back errors or whatever that stuff is. And then you have to enable it again. And UV. Alright, and what? Oh yes, whoops. Delete all the lights in your scene first. My bad. Then select full render and bake. Yeah, that's the issue that you get when you have the textures selected and you try to bake. You get the feed thing error. There we go. Okay, now we got it set up. 
And now we can go ahead and click Omit for this. And as you can see, we've got our nice little kind of emission going. Unfortunately, this one's got a bit of a line here. I'm not really sure if you can see it. Right here. It's a nice black line. So I'm just going to scale this object up a bit. Just so that little line's gone. Alright. So now that we have our scene, we would want to put some textures on it. We just don't want to... We want to have a scene with lights, you know. So we are going to give it a point lamp. Fun. And we are going to give this a texture. So go down here, give it a new texture. I'm just going to give it a carpet texture. And it doesn't really matter what texture you put on, it can be anything. So, it preferably something dark, because it is emitting a lot of light. Now you want to go to Emit, and change it to a Add. And bring it up on top. Go to your carpet and select specular color and turn it down just a bit. I'm just going to turn on normal. Okay. So here we have like our basic kind of emission scene. And one more thing to make it seem a lot more realistic is I'm going to borrow a shader from a guy called Matt Lion, pretty sure it was. Just Go on to YouTube and type in Blender Third Person Shooter. He's creating a great game with Blender, so he's worth a look. And you just want to go to his channel. Hello and welcome to Update and Night. It's his most previous video, which is this one here, which is Update 11. And down in the description, he has a link to a lot of bloom shaders he's using for this for that little update. So, uh, yes, go down to the resources there, and we're going to look for the bloom filter. So, in down to labels, go down to GLSL, and find bloom. There we go. Direct link for filters, and we are going to be using chromatic bloom. So, just go ahead and copy this, pop back in a blender go into game logic. I'm gonna give a new text object, call it bloom. Paste in that code. Get rid of this. Go to our camera, give it an always and a filter 2D, set the filter to custom and select bloom. Turn this up. So now when we go into camera view and press P to play, we get a kind of glowing effect around it. I think that's a bit too much, so we're going to go to our float gain in the script and change it to about 5.5, see how that looks. That looks a bit better. And then you can just go ahead and pop a mouse look or anything like that on, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is a nice little tutorial showing you how to set up emissive objects inside the Blender game engine. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope you don't mind waiting a few weeks for my tutorial releases. I guess I just run out of ideas every now and then. So don't be afraid to pop a question or anything like that because I do enjoy doing these things. So yeah, please just leave any things down below. Alright, so that's all guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, yep, see us. Have a nice day.